Otro video para ti hoy y este es Erron con Enacomputers.com. I think that should be este es Erron con Enacomputers.com. And then otro video para ti hoy. What about you? Another video for you today. So we're going to quickly go over electrostatic discharge, ESD. I made a previous video that was quite lengthy about ESD because some clown claims that you should never ever... you should never ever put a computer component on top of an electric static bag because they claim that it's dangerous that there's so much electric static discharge so much buildup of conductivity that I might fry the video card totally absurd this is going to deal with just quickly how you can prevent electrostatic discharge because it exists you are a charge it's your fault you're a human you are conductive you're made out of conductive materials you're 75 percent water so quickly three ways that you can prevent electrostatic discharge so i've got all kinds of i've got this video card that was laying on top of an electrostatic bag never it's not going to fry Here's another video card. Here's a medium sized one that I'm going to place on top of the electrostatic bag. See? And I have an even larger one. And I'm going to take it out of its anti alleged anti static bag. Come on. Oh, it ripped. It tore. That's okay. The rest of it is still good. This is an old bag. It's all right. And I'm going to place it on top of its anti static bag. It's not going to fry. But uh, but there is static buildup. So what you can do is you if you do not have an electric static wrist, which I have one. I'll, I'll show it to you. I have one. Is all you have to do is take a computer and if you're upgrading your computer, your you know, you got a bad video card, video cards do fail or you're upgrading or you're really upgrading. This is older technology, but it's still it's a pretty fucking big video card. It's got two DVI connections. Or you're kind of in the middle. And you want something that has mul multiple connections. This is an old school card, but it had three connections. DVI, you know, VGA, and the S-Video, which even when it came out, it was terrible, but whatever. But, that, you know, that's technology. Techno technology is, li is limited. Or you've got hard drives, and you're, you know, there's so much electricity going around. Every there's so much anti, you know, static, and you're you're charged. No pun intended. The Los Angeles Chargers are a nightmare because I don't know why the fuck they moved from San Diego to L.A. But you know, so here's hard drive. You're upgrading hard drives, failed hard drives, electronic parts, components they don't like static so you want to prevent the electric static discharge and memory you're upgrading your computer's memory you've got memory modules DDR2 whatever well and your girlfriend your girlfriend's already pissed off she's already a feminist and she's already pissed off at you and if you do not fix your girlfriend's computer She's going to cheat on you with your neighbor or your friend. She might already be cheating on you. I don't know. But if you do not fix her computer issue, she is definitely kicking you to the curb and she is going to hook up with a different computer nerd because you didn't cut it. You didn't fix her computer. You didn't have a electrostatic wrist strap. But you've got a computer like this. Now, this doesn't have a power supply. But what you can do is you do not want to have the power connected. Let's say, hypothetically, this had a power supply here and, you know, you had the power cable plugged in. That is an earth ground. You do not want to ground yourself to the earth. It's dangerous. You want to unplug the power cable from the back of the power supply. It does not matter, even if you shut off the computer and you turn off the 
the um, switch on the power supply, but the cable is still plugged in, you're still earth grounded. You do not want to do that as a human. Look it up. Study it. Also, some power supplies don't have switches. So that could be a problem. A lot of them do have a switch, on off switch, but it doesn't matter because you don't want to be earth grounded. That's it. Unplug the power cable and then you also might want to press the power button. If you if you just recently used this computer, just press it for 30 seconds to a minute. And then that there could be electrostatic buildup and then that will discharge that. That will clear the electrostatic discharge from the computer. Then you just touch it like this anywhere on the case as long as it's a metal case this is a metal chassis that's it that's what you have to do let's say the I'm working on the computer see I'm busy I'm sweating bullets I've got all these upgrades oh my god there's no power supply and oh shit there's no memory and there's no video card oh my god my girlfriend she's gonna break up She's already cheating on me. Oh, shit. What do I do? Well, that's it. You just, every once in a while, this, this is just, I don't even use wrist guards. I don't have an anti-static mat. I don't even, yeah, once in a while, when I work on a computer, I'm, I'm always, almost always taking it apart. And so I'm always touching the case. So just right here, the, the chassis, the solid metal, just touch it. That's it. You just grounded yourself. Grounding basically means there's there's multi. It gets very convoluted, complex. It just basically means you're balancing the the charge. That's all you're doing. You're balancing yourself. Electrostatic discharge can be be very harmful to you and electronic components like you know like memory modules, hard whoops hard drives. video cards that are sitting on top of electrostatic bags because they're not going to fry the bags not going to fry them and so you just want to balance off the charges the pro it electrostatic discharges can get can fry computer components when they're opposite there's a high charge and there's a low charge and they don't like each other that's where you know that's why you want to balance you want to diffuse the electrostatic discharge by balancing the charges you're a charge you're charged you do you you're made you're what is it humans around maybe up to 20 volts uh, 15 volts but yes believe it or not and then the these you know these build up charges it depends on you know iPhones 5 volt whatever 5 volts laptops 19 volts whatever whatever they're running at so uh, there's charges the chargers suck but you know there's all kinds of charges around you know the legal system charges you the police charges you but you know that's a quick way now if you work on electronics a lot you probably would it would be better to get an electrostatic mat I don't have one to demonstrate but I do have a wrist strap but if if you're strapped for time pun intended again remember your girlfriend You've been suspicious of her. And all of a sudden, she, on Sunday night, when you were about to sit down for Sunday night NFL, she comes to you and she's crying. Her makeup's all over the place. Her wig, too. I mean, and she, you know, she's crying and, and she get, she's getting, she's threatening you, too. If you don't fix my computer, you know, you know tomorrow night, I might have to kick you out or you might have to sleep on the couch tomorrow night. So now I have a wrist strap. So quickly, quickly. I've got another video to make, another blog post to write up. So I have one. I have a computer toolkit, actually. You don't need a computer toolkit, but I have one because I work on a lot of different computers. Here's a prototypical computer wrist guard strap, whatever you want to call it. Now it's got, it's adjustable. It's very important that it's tight on your skin because remember, 
you're using this to ground yourself, to balance your charge, because you're out of control. And it's got one of these snap-ins. You know what I'm saying? So you just put on the wrist strap. You want to make, on mine it's pretty loose, but I think, yeah, it's it's got a little swivel here. You see that? So you can tighten it. I'm not too concerned for this demonstration. I'll just do this. But normally you want it tight on the wrist like that. You know what I'm saying? And then this end... It's like a battery, the end of a battery cable, actually. Well, if you've ever worked on a car, you, car, you know that the negative terminal on a battery, you're supposed to connect to what? Either the, the block, which is made out of steel, or the firewall, which is made out of metal, too. And you don't, but you don't want to put it on paint. If the firewall has paint, you've got to scrape off the paint. But, you know, a lot of engine firewalls, it's just metal or the engine block or some part of the frame of the vehicle that is metal. Well, that, the same thing with computers when you ground. You're just balancing the charge. So all you do is you take your computer that you're working on and you're, you know, feverishly because it's midnight and your girlfriend, you know, is out at the bar and there are rumors that she's already flirting with other males other computer nerds that got it done they have a wrist guard they have a wrist strap they have a an <laughs> they've got an and they've got it all they've got a wrist guard a wrist strap they've got an anti-static mat they've got a multimeter they've got gloves i haven't even gotten to the gloves yet they but you but you ain't got shit so you just <laughs> You just connect it like that to the chassis. Or some people recommend the power supply. I don't fuck with the power supply. And that includes grounding. I just stay away from the power supply. Some power supplies have paint too. And so you don't want to use you don't want to use a metal surface with paint to, to balance the charge. And these also have a a not a distributor, that's in, <laughs> that's in, that's in automobiles. All right, so that's it. Or anywhere on the chassis, usually right here, right there. That's it. See? You're strapped in. You know? <laughs> that's all you have to do. This, is, But the problem with this is you've got to make sure it's tight around the wrist. I can adjust it later. I don't worry about it. But if you move and then all of a sudden this, this slips off where it's connected right there, you know, that's not good. And, you know, and then you're on a leash. Get it? You have a girlfriend. You're already on a leash. You should know that with all the feminists in America. So, yeah, see? So, another solution I would recommend if you work on electronics is an anti-static mat. They're made out of rubber. I think on the, the bottom side, they're conductive the top side that you will and then all you do is you place the computer down on the mat and that's all you have to do as long as the computer is inside the mat it then the power the charge is balanced it's grounded but you can also hook up your wrist strap to the mat now some of them I think have snap-ins I think that might be why this comes off I could be wrong but I think some will snap in on both ends on your your wrist and also on the anti-static mat and then but if not you what you do is you take this end the clip and just clip it this is just pretend that this mouse pad okay you got the mouse pad just clip it on the the mat like that and that's all you have to do so that would be, but but really, as long as you put the, your electronics on the mat, you should be okay. But yeah, if you, if you also want to ground yourself, that's another way you can do it. Gloves, I don't have any gloves to demonstrate. Gloves are similar to a wrist strap. They're made out of um, probably maybe some kind of rubber or some kind of th synthetics or whatever. They also have a, a clip on them, a lot of them, but they have to be tight. 
because that's the whole point of balancing the charge is you know this must be tight because you're just closing the loop is what you're doing it's just like a car battery the negative you connect to the engine block or the firewall to ground it to close the loop you become you are the firewall now you are the the engine block obviously speaking metaphorically so gloves are similar and they also they also some of them have a snap on but this connector and then it, it's a glove so it's just over your hand but that's all that's all you're doing is closing the loop connect connecting this to this and then closing the loop and then you can you know again even with gloves you you would just snap into a metal metal like that or the an anti-static mat anything else I think that's about it, it it's pretty self-explanatory like I said I don't even use wrist guard since I have even though I have one if I worked on I do work on computers quite a bit but I have an office but I would say if I worked on electronics more I would probably get an anti-static mat but that's just me but if you don't have any of those I don't even worry about it but I, I've just worked on computers for so many years and I literally have all kinds of hardware that are in these electrostatic you know bags like this one and I mean I just place them on top and come on it's not gonna fry the video card whoever keeps saying that anti-static bags are that conductive that they would blow this video card I don't know what the fuck they're smoking but what we can do is go online and then I'm gonna run we can quickly just show you the anti-static mats because that to me that's the easiest you just if you have a nice work area just even your kitchen table they're they're probably 40 bucks for a decent one something like that and they're conducted on the bottom on the top they're not they're made out of rubber uh, I don't some of them might also have poly what is it polypropylene or whatever uh, some kind of plastic rubber crap that smells or whatever so but generally they're made out of mostly of rubber and then they also have snap-ins that you can you know snap your your wrist strap and then you can ground yourself to the anti-static mat if you want to go that far or if you've got a glove or gloves you know what I'm saying but anti static how about anti-static gloves we'll show you those real quick we'll just show you some images and then I'm gonna run that's they, they kind of look like average gloves but no they're used to to uh, for computers see and some of them you can ground yourself they you can snap it's got I don't know if I'll be able to show you one I'm not, I've seen them online before how about anti-static glove with wrist strap how about that yeah see I will are they gonna show you I know I've seen them before on video even here here's one here's one see now some are right on the glove I know I've seen them I don't know I'm not gonna spend too much time on this but I know they exist I know they exist <laughs> even though oh it's all good I know they exist all right, that's that's enough. That's enough. Okay, so now another item I can show you quickly is anti-static mat. This is what I would do, but that you don't have to do any of this really. You just whatever you want to do. You notice how it's a mat? They come in different sizes, and it's got this right here. It's got the the 
connector and then the little clip and then you can use that to ground see anti static includes a cable and a grounding plug includes the cable but what you can also do is you can clip yourself to the mat also if you have an anti-static wrist strap you can clip it to the mat but I'm just want to show you the mat they come in different colors different sizes one for the floor but on your workbench you could just they're easy I mean it's just so easy and you can store your tools on them and you see how they have the components right there on the mat even with comp even with personal computers I would say as long as see as long as the computer is on the mat and then it's got the cable but this one plugs into the wall but as long as the computer components and the computer case itself is on the mat that will prevent electrostatic discharge but if you wanted to you could plug in your and then you could you could also use the mat to ground yourself adios